And you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to be discussing with y'all in this reaction video, I'm going to talk about how modern women always and still are complaining about wanting a good man or a man who will provide and protect while at the same time failing, failing to create an environment that is conducive enough to bring about that type of outcome. And how do you like them apples? Also, they refuse therapy or any type of counseling that could possibly foster the, the type of personality traits that would attract a good man. You dig? So what I'm going to do is dive deep in that right now. So let me go ahead and put it on the screen for you. One second. As I put it on the screen for you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Where's she at? Boom. There she go. I dig this. Ladies, I will say this all day, every day. Men are way more attracted to women who give them peace than they are to beauty, money, fame, status, anything. Let me explain. And listen, I know the majority of the people that follow me are women, and some of you might get a little bit offended by this, but it's just the honest fucking truth. A lot of women use the, we don't care what men want, we're gonna be who we are, we're gonna talk about our feelings, whatever. You can say whatever you want, but then you can also wonder why you're not in a relationship you wanna be in, or why you always pick the assholes. Now all of your exes are toxic, but you refuse to look at the way that you act or the men that you're picking because some of you bitches be crazy okay i read yes 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 some of you are freaking crazy now let me tell you something jack what you really need to know we all have heard of stories about men who get off of work and they don't go straight home they go to the bar or they go to some other place because they already know when they get home they're gonna deal with some bull okay you we heard the story we also have heard the stories where men drive and just come to that driveway and just sit in that car for 35 minutes to an hour because they do not want to go in there and hear that woman's mouth. You see, a lot of y'all want blessings, but you don't have the environment or the atmosphere that will cause that blessing to thrive. You get what I'm saying? It's like a flower, man. Think of it like that. When you have a flower and you plant that flower, that flower needs light, it needs water, it needs fertile ground in order for it to become what it's destined to be. If you take that same flower, that seed of that flower, and you put it inside of ground that is not fertile, don't give it no light, don't give it no water, then it, it will die. It will wither. And when it wither, it's a process of time. Even if you take a flower that's already good, and you, know how you go buy a bouquet, and you put in the vase or a vase and put water and put it by the window for light, that same flower that was perfect when you got it, if you don't put it in the same conditions where it can receive light, water, and all that type of stuff, it will wither and die. So a lot of you, when you get these men who are good men, you treat them like shit. You don't create an environment for that man to grow. You know what I mean? You say you want so many different things, but you are not prepared to get them. It's like what they say. Be careful what you wish for because you might get it. When you get these things, you don't have the maturity. You don't have the wisdom, the knowledge, the discernment, the ability to maintain a good relationship with a decent man. This is why decent men do not want to be with you. Because when we see a woman with several baby daddies, we already know that's a negative environment. When we see uh, women who have a whole bunch of children out of wedlock, we already know that's a horrible environment to be in. When we see a woman that's tatted all over her face, smell like weed, eat booty, um, on EBT, just violent, just loud as hell, we already know that she cannot give us the type of environment that we need to be in in order for us to feel peace or loved. Is it making sense to you now? So a lot of time it's the environment. Women used to be able to create atmospheres and environments that was welcoming, pleasant, and loving. You get what I'm saying? But now these women don't have that ability because they're not feminine. It takes a feminine woman to create an environment like that. We used to call these women homemakers, not home wreckers, but homemakers, makers of home and, you know, the lady of the house and all this stuff like that. That's because that lady of the house, the lady represents the femininity that that woman had that could create the environment for a man to be comfortable in or the children to be raised in. We don't deal with a whole lot of ladies anymore. Now it's the hoe of the house. It's the 304 of the house. It's the baddie of the house. 
It's the hot girl summer of the house. So this is why all you musty back helpers of the house, this is why you musty back helpers cannot pull or attract decent men because you lack the ability to be able to draw a man to you that is of substance. Does it make sense to you now? Let's get it. Read my DMs. I know how it really goes. I will tell you that men will be attracted to having a peaceful woman over having a beautiful woman. Quit trying to be beautiful. Just be a peaceful fucking place. Let them be honest with you. Let them play their fucking video games. Let them go out with their boys. I just feel like women want to control shit all the time. They just want to control, control, control. And men feel fucking confined. Like they feel like they're in a straight jacket all the goddamn time. And then you wonder why they're uncomfortable. They start going behind your back or doing weird shit. Because women refuse to look at this part of themselves too. Sometimes you bitches be crazy. And it's okay because we're working on it. But listen, you have to hear it sometimes. Because just try this, women. He wants to go out on a Saturday night with his boys to the bar. You just go, I hope you have so much fun. Babe, you look so good. Go out, have so much fun. It gets stress-free for him. And watch how fast he fucking comes back. Guess what? He's going to go out with his boys and he's going to be like, Damn, my girl made me feel real good. I just want to get back to her. Men love peaceful women. They just do. They're attracted to peace. And they can find someone that can finally just be peaceful for them and it's not just someone nagging and bitching at them all the goddamn time. Yeah, they're gonna want to stick around. I know men have their faults and they're kind of pieces of shit sometimes. This is just a video for the women to tell you that you're kind of pieces of shit sometimes also. Well, she had to throw a man underneath the bus some kind of way. I mean, you, you weren't gonna get away. You weren't gonna get mad. You gotta be a piece of shit. And you weren't gonna get away, gentlemen. She had, she done checked the wind, but she just had to say something about you. She just couldn't, couldn't hold it in. Just had to give it to you. Now, check this out. <laughs> These women, something else ain't they, y'all. Let's get it. Here's the thing. It's not about cooking or cleaning or anything like that. It's about if your husband likes a certain trait, are you willing to accommodate that? I exactly. Like I say, these women are not creating the atmospheres that are conducive to bring about the desired outcomes in their lives. Now, are you able to create an atmosphere or accommodate your male or your man or your significant other if you truly want to be with him? What you will find right now, women will not accommodate a man for shit. All they gonna have is demands. They don't have standards. They have demands. I demand that he makes six figures. I demand that he has a six pack. I demand that he got over six inches. I demand that he's over six foot eight. That's all they got a bunch of ransom. <laughs> it's a bunch of ransom demands and shit for love. If you want, if you want this piece, we holding it for ransom. I'm holding this piece for ransom. I'm holding my femininity for ransom. You gotta bring six figures to get this femininity, you stupid motherfucking must it back here for you. That's sad, man. That's so sad. Let's keep going. And what's happening if you like the person if you if you like the, if it's a husband or something like that. Now what's happening is women are like I'm not cooking for you. I'm not cleaning for you. You you can speak, but that's how men like to be loved. It's similarly like if a man was saying to a woman, "I'm not paying the bills. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to look after you financially." It'd be like, but that's how women like to be loved. And I think it's not so much about cooking, cleaning. Say if he doesn't want that, it's a more rejection on expectations that a man has towards you. But life involves some level of expectation. Otherwise, you're not going to have a marriage. I'm a mustard back helper. I don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I want. I'm never going to accommodate a man. What is a man to me? I always get a man. I got 26 kids right now. What you think? You think it's hard for me to get a man? I'm a mustard back helper. I ain't for to please you. And I sure as hell ain't going to create an atmosphere of peace and love. But what? That's, that's old school, Jay. That's messed up, Mr. Hill. You want all... You know what? I'm going to call all my mustard back helper friends. We're going to come hunt you. And you better not have peace in your house. If you got peace in your house, we're going to break in there. We're going to start uh, rapping some of that new rap shit that uh Megan the Stallion got Wakashi Watashi Ka Star 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 whatever it is I can never remember the lyrics but you know it's kind of like I can never remember the balance that I have on my EBT card either why because I'm a busted back helper now we're gonna play this right here with this lady for to talk about she's gonna talk about the same thing similarly uh, let's get it right quick a six-figure woman absolutely can create an atmosphere of peace when she is healed, when she is whole, and when she understands the difference between hiding behind independence and degrees and things of that nature as her identity versus being interdependent and making sure that her home is run like a well-oiled machine. Now, while I'm here, I might as well talk about the rest of the things that people said that I said in my video that I did not say. 
So there were a couple men who said, I'm a six-figure man. I definitely want a six-figure woman. Never said you didn't want a six-figure woman. What I said in the video was that there are several women who got it all together. They're making six figures. They got their body in shape together. And they got all this stuff together and they're still being skipped over and, and, and she's being chosen and they're looking at her saying, she's not as pretty as me. She don't have as much money as me. She don't have the same shape as me. But at the same time, what they don't understand is she's providing something that he don't already have. That was the point of the video. And most of the time, it's an atmosphere of peace. Because bingo, bingo, bingo. An atmosphere of peace. That's like, um, like we say, we'll skip over the woman who got like a degree and a doctorate who make a whole lot of money and go work with, um, and get the woman from Taco Bell. You know what I mean? The grown woman from Taco Bell who, um, has a nice demeanor. And see, cause we see that's something we can work with. We can build with that. We can't build with no hard-headed mustard back helper. We can't do that, y'all. We just can't do that. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to feel like we being ran over by a woman. Not no man. Not no real man. Not no alpha male. So we'll go ahead and get a uh, woman that works. I don't get where she work at. She can be a custodian and shit like that. You know what I mean? It really don't matter. If she's a good woman who know how to bring the peace, you know, a man got to be responsible. A man is responsible for his own peace. The woman brings additional peace. It adds on to the peace that's already there. So a man should not be dating a woman who don't got no peace. I'm going to just say that right now. And a woman shouldn't be dating a man if she ain't got no peace within herself either. But if a man has peace, he sure as hell should not be dating a woman who has not found a way to have tranquility and peace within herself. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? So let's keep going. Because when you as a woman have six figures, sometimes... Sometimes many of us are not healed and many of us are not whole. And as a result, we walk in feeling like, hey, you ain't the king of the castle. We co-captains. And when you start that, it brings about an atmosphere of competition. And the one place that men don't want to compete is at home. Like I say, I don't do that partnership relationship shit. Well, uh, I want a, a partnership. I don't want a marriage. I want a partnership partnership. I want a relationship where we're partners. Nah, we don't do that, man. I'm telling you, man, real men are not finna put up with that shit. No matter how much you dress it up with, no matter what you say, lady, nobody wants that. Only you want that. You want to be the man and the woman. Ain't no way in hell a man gonna deal with that. I, I won't. I don't care how bad you are. I had some bad chicks, too. Ain't no way in hell a woman come up to me and talk about, I want to be with you. I'll be like, all right, that sounds good. Yeah. And she's like, but I want us to be partners. Bitch, you don't get the hell out of here. I I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm just gonna deal with that. I will be the leader. No compromising. I am the leader. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear that. And you can call me narrow-minded all you want, baby. But I am the leader. What I say, go. And if I say something, it's not going to be something bad for the relationship. I will have the final say in that relationship. See, the thing is, these women have been through the ringer so much, y'all, that they can't trust nobody. So when they get a good dude who actually knows what he's doing, they can't trust his judgment. So they think as soon as he try to make a decision for both of them, that he's trying to be controlling, a dictator, not understanding that he's actually functioning as a leader. They always say you want a leader. Matter of fact, they want to, they say providers and protectors. They try to cut out the leadership part. Have you noticed that? They want a provider and a protector. They don't never actually include the leadership part of that shit. The women just cut that shit out. But no, it's leadership, provision, protection, among other things. Okay, teacher as well. Corrector. Ooh, I know y'all hate that word, corrector. Get your ass corrected. That's what it is. If you can't be corrected, then you can't be directed. All right. So you let me know what you think about this right here. I'll be talking to you real soon. Y'all be safe now you're here. Ooh.